Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the Ypsilanti area. My name is, of course, Aaron Hayes, your host of the Eagles Nest here on WEMU, home of everything Eastern Michigan sports related. Now, let's just talk about what's happening tomorrow. The Ball State Cardinals come to play. And, you know, it's MAC play, the first game of the year in the MAC, uh, MAC play this year. So, I think if the Eagles can pull this off, pull this win off, it's going to be very, you know, like an establish, an establishment, an establishment game for the Eagles. If they can win tomorrow, I think that, you know, going 0-3 is just going to be in their past because after last week's performance against Rutgers, who was way better than Eastern Michigan in every single category, it's, it's just going to be a good game if they can secure the victory. Now, talking about last game, last week's game also, Savon Huggins was a man. He put over 200, gra 200 yards on the ground. Now, that's, that is intense. That is amazing. 200 plus yards. Just think about that for a second. By one man. He also put up four touchdowns. And you know, their defensive player of the game also was the defensive player of the week in the NCAA. Same for Savon Huggins. He won offensive player of the week. And Nadir Barnwell had three interceptions in one game. He won Defensive Player of the Week in the NCAA. That's outstanding. Now, if the Eagles can get this win, you know, start off 1-0 in the MAC, that's great because this team that they're playing against has an all-MAC quarterback uh, in Keith Wenning. Jawan Edwards is also very good. He's their running back. And those two are a very deadly combo in the MAC. And... They run a very up-tempo offense that, you know, could give the defense some trouble. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that Eastern, if they if they hold themselves to their their uh, their basics, you know, uh, play man. Man and zone are going to be their, their best friends. I, I think they should not blitz a lot tomorrow, seeing as the more people you have in coverage, the, the less, you know, opportunities Keith Wedding is going to have going up against that defense. But... They are uh, they are two and one. So you know, putting them down at two and two would just be great, great for us in the standings. And like I said, just you know, zero and three would just be in our past if we can start this season off in MAC play with a win. That's that's all I really got. Uh, I I think that they need to execute better so on offense. They performed terribly, um, and on defense they really need to lock down this team because this team can put up a lot of points. But you know, nothing that I can do about it. Just hope that John has a nice scheme for tomorrow. But sadly, that's all the time I have for today. My name's Aaron Hayes, your host of Eagles Nest here on WEMU. Hope to see everyone tomorrow for this game. It's going to be a good one. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the Ypsilanti area. It's a great day here in Ryerson Stadium for some football. We've got a great matchup between the Eastern Michigan Eagles and the Ball State Cardinals. Now, this is the first game of the year for both of these teams in MAC play. Ball State's in the top of the MAC West with a 2-1 overall record. Eastern is tied for last place with Western Michigan with an 0-3 overall record. But if Eastern can win today and move them up to 1-3 overall, that's very good for them. They would move up to the middle of the conference in the MAC West. Maybe not the actual conference, but it'd be very good for their confidence and everything like that. Now, it's almost game time. Kickoffs in a minute. We're going to go down to the field for the coin toss. We'll be right back up here in the studio after that. Let's go Eagles. Eastern Michigan starts off with the ball in today's game at their own 30-yard line in the empty formation. As Bansy keeps it on the quarterback draw and he gets 5 yards on the run. Correction, 7 yards on that last play for Benz as they come out in a shotgun formation. No, that is a wildcat formation. It's Javante Green. He keeps it on the read option. Green up past the 40. He's on the outside and he gets up to the 45-yard line after a gain of 8. The Eagles already have a first down in their first two plays. It's very good for them as they come out in a pistol formation now on first down. Benz, he's setting up the screen to Bronson Hill. He's got Bronson Hill. Hill's up past midfield, and he's taken down after a gain of eight yards. Second and two for the Eagles as they are past midfield. They come out in a pistol formation as Benz, he has the dive to Bronson Hill, who gets some very nice yardage on there. That's a gain of 11. Very nice run. First and 10 for the Eagles after that nice run by Bronson Hill. They come on a pistol formation again, and Hill, he takes the handoff as Hill's got some room, and he gets 15 yards on the play. 
The Eagles have moved the ball impressively well as Benz, he's making an adjustment at the line as his receivers have motioned over to the left side as they have a lot of blockers on that side. They may be rolling that side. No, Benz, he keeps it, and Benz gets around six yards on the carry. Second and four for the Eagles as they come out in a heavy pistol set as Bronson is the lone back, and he gets the handoff on the stretch play to the right side, and Benz gets the first down. Second and seven for the Eagles. They are past the 10-yard line. As they come out in a split shotgun set, Benz, he keeps the snap. Yes, he does. Benz has some room in front of him. He's got the touchdown. That's going to be 7-0 if the Eagles can make this extra point. First touchdown for Tyler Benz in the day. And out on the field comes Keith Wenning, a very impressive quarterback. He has pro potential, so if this defense cannot hold him down, he's going to have a great day on his first pass of the day. He's got Zane Fakes. That's a gain of 28. First and 10 on the second play of the game for the Cardinals. They're already past midfield as Spakes goes in motion. Wenning's back to pass. He's got good protection. He's looking, and he does not have Zane Fakes on that corner route. It's a great defensive play for the Eagles. Third down now for the Cardinals as they are nearing field goal range as they come out in a shotgun formation. One running back as Keith Wenning. He's back to pass, and he lost it the left side of the field, and that's nearly intercepted. And we have a flag. I don't know what this is about. Roughing the passer ah, on Omar McFarlane. That's a blow to this Eagles defense. They almost had a punt right there. That's another first down for the Cardinals. After that penalty, the Cardinals now have first down. Ten yards to go. They're on the 20. As Wenning's back to pass. And he's got Jawan Edwards over the middle. Edwards, he's past the 10. He's down at the five-yard line after a gain of 13 yards. First and goal for the Cardinals. Looking to tie it up here. Late in the first quarter as Edwards, he takes the draw. He's only going to get two yards on that carry. Third down and goal for the Cardinals as they come out in a shotgun formation. Jawan Edwards to the left of Keith Wenning as Wenning. He keeps it on an option. He's into the end zone. That's a four-yard touchdown run for the quarterback. And if Ball State can make this extra point, it's going to be a tie ball game. And three minutes to go here in the first quarter as the game is all tied up. As the Eagles come out in a split back formation and Bronson Hill, he gets the handoff and he gets around five yards on the carry, second down. That brings up second down and five for the Eagles as they come out in empty formation. Benz, he's back to pass and he fires it to Julius Shelby and Shelby is up past the 45 yard line and he gets a gain of 12. Second down and six for the Eagles as they are past midfield as they come out in a split army formation as Joe Fleming, he gets the handoff and he powers his way up the middle of the field. That's a nice first down. Glad to see the big man get in the offense as they come out in a pistol formation. Benz, he keeps it on the option and he pitches it back to Bronson Hill who looks like he was drugged down by his face mask. And let's see. Yes, that's going to be a face mask on Ball State and Eastern Michigan is going to wisely accept this, I hope, and move up the 15 yards. So that's a free... 15 yards for the Eagles first down. First down now as they come out in a pistol formation as Benz. He's back to pass. He's looking. And he fires it over the left side of the field to Donald Scott who breaks out of a tackle. He's up past the 15 yard line and taken down after a gain of 12 yards. First and 10 as they are in field goal range for Dylan Mulder. As Javante Green, he gets the handoff and he's making his way to the middle of the field. He powers his way forward for seven yards. Second down and three for the Eagles as they come out in a pistol formation. With three receivers to the right as Benz fakes the handoff to Bronson Hill. And he makes his way into the end zone. This is second on the day. And if they make this extra point, they're up seven points again. Second and 11. And the first quarter is coming to a close. It's probably going to be the last play as Wenning. He sent up the screen. And Omar McFarlane was not fooled by that. That is a loss of four. Great play. The Cardinals have found themselves in a very bad spot to begin the second quarter. As Keith Wenning motions his receiver to the left side. And Wenning, he's setting up the screen for Jawan Edwards who catches it. And he's past the 30, the 40, he's got a blocker, the 50, and Donald Coleman catches up to him, but he takes him down after a gain of 45. Cardinals are past midfield after that nice screen play by Jawan Edwards as they try to set the screen once more, and Omar McFarland, he helps take him down, and Jawan's going to lose two yards on that screen play, third down. Third down and long as they are not in field goal range at all. As running, he's back to pass. He's looking, he's moving up to his right, and he's got Zane Fakes, but he loses two yards on that completion. That's going to be a punt. Eastern Michigan's ball. Eastern has the ball at the 40-yard line as they are out in a pistol formation as Benz motions his receiver, and it's an option play, and Benz keeps it, and he gets up to near midfield, nine yards on the rush. 
Second and one after that nice run by Tyler Benz as they are in another pistol formation. Benz gives the ball to Bronson Hill who makes his way up the middle of the field for a gain of eight. It's another nice run from Bronson. I'm very impressed with the way this offense is running today as they are now the 45-yard line is Benz. He's back to passing at the screen for Bronson Hill. Bronson's got some block. He's up past the 40, and he's taken down hard after a gain of six. Third and short for the Eagles to come out another pistol formation. As Benz, he keeps it on the option. He's got room, and he pitches it back to Bronson Hill. He's up past the 30. He's taken down at the 25 after a gain of 10. Second and 10 for the Eagles as they are in field goal range for Dylan Mulder. As Benz, he's back to pass. And he finds Donald Scott, who is taken down hard. And that looks like another face mask penalty. Let's see here. And yes, another face mask penalty on Ball State. So they accept this. They're going to be up at the 11-yard line. That's going to be another great scoring chance for the Eagles. That's another first down. And goal to go. Second down and seven for the Eagles. Looking to score and take a 14-point lead. As Benz gives it to Javante Green, who gets up to the three-yard line after a gain of five. Third down and short. Well, nothing happened for Easton on third down, so Dylan Mulder's going to knock this one home and give the Eagles a ten-point lead. The Eagles have found themselves in a very odd situation. They are up by ten, and the first half is almost over as Jawan Edwards on the draw. And he gets around five yards in the carry as Pudge Conn gets the tackle. Second and five for the Cardinals. As they come on a shotgun formation, Wenning, he's back to pass, and he finds Connor Ryan over the middle. He gets up to near midfield in that 17-yard gain. Well, after that nice play to Connor Ryan, they come out another shotgun formation, Wenning. He's pressured, and he finds Kevon Mabin on the left side of the field. He gets nine yards in the catch. Second and short for the Cardinals as they come out in the shotgun formation as Wenning fakes the handoff to Juwan Edwards, who fires it over to Kevon Mabin. It's a gain of 21. Two minutes to go here in the first half as Ball State is driving. They're in field goal range. Is winning. He's loading up and he finds his receiver. No, he drops it. That's going to bring up second down. Second and ten as Ball State comes out in a shotgun look as Wenning hands the ball to Jawan Edwards who goes nowhere. That's a loss of three. Third down and long for the Cardinals and they are in a passing situation I believe is winning. He is back to pass indeed and he finds his receiver. That was an amazing grab. There was no review on the play, even though he looked like he had his foot out of bounds when he caught that. As Juwan Edwards gets the handoff on first and goal, and he gets around five yards in the carry. It's going to bring up second down. Second and goal as Ball State wanting to make this another three-point game. Come on, a shotgun look. Wenning on the option, trying to get to the end zone, but he is going to go nowhere. He's going to actually lose a yard in the play. It's going to bring up third down. If Eastern Michigan can hold these guys here, it's, it's going to be a very good thing for them as Minute 30 to go in the first half. Wenning back to pass. And he finds Willie Seen in the end zone. He drops the ball. That would have been a touchdown. They're going to have to go for the field goal. It's going to be a very easy chip shot for Ball State. And they fake the kick. And Ozzie Man goes nowhere. That's a loss of six. Eastern was not fooled on that. And it was a very gutsy call by Ball State. But it did not pay off. First down, Eagles. Well, third down for the Eagles, and Benz has not been very pass-heavy today. He's been more of a running quarterback today as he finds Jay Jones on that nine-yard completion. Uh, but I'm actually very pleased at what I've seen today as they come out with a split-back look for this play as Benz. He finds Donald Scott on the curl. That's a gain of 14. The Eagles are moving very efficiently in the short amount of time that they have as Benz. He's back to pass. And he fires it to the right side of the field. He finds Donald Scott past midfield now as they are driving. Benz back to pass. Right side again. He finds Donald Scott for 12 yards. He made the catch. 49 seconds to go in the first half as Benz is back to pass. And he finds Jay Jones who looked to have the first down. Let's see where they mark him. No, he's very close. They're in field goal range now so they can at least walk out of here with three points as long as no mistake is made. As Benz on second down, finds Demarius Reed across the middle for a gain of 14 and another Eastern Michigan first down. The Eagles can smell pay dirt from here. They are very close to the end zone as Benz. He's making sure everything's correct and he takes the snap. He's firing it to the right side and back of the end zone is Donald Scott there to make the catch. And if they make this extra point, they're going to be up by 17 points to end the half. I don't think Ball State's going to try to do anything big. I think they're just going to run the clock out. That's exactly what they do, and Edwards goes nowhere, but the Eagles are going to take a 17-point lead going into halftime. Well, that was a great performance in the first half. It's time for the second half of this game. 
Wenning hands it up to Jawan Edwards. Edwards goes nowhere. The loss of one in the play. Second and 11 as Ball State comes out in a single back look. Wedding on a draw play to Jawan Edwards and Anthony Zappone doesn't let him go anywhere. Third down and long for the Cardinals and more than likely a passing situation. Wedding sent on the screen. Edwards, he's got the screen. He's past the 30, the 40, and he's taken down hard. Well, a third down and long for the Cardinals again as they are nearing midfield as Wenning. And on the draw to Heractio Banks. Banks is going to go nowhere and you only get three yards. First down and 10 for the Eagles in their own 25-yard line coming out in a split formation as Bronson Hill, he gets the handoff on the option and he gets around nine yards on that play. Brings up second down. Second and short. Pistol formation for the Eagles as Bronson Hill, he's got the handoff and he's up past the 40. He's taken down after a gain of 12. The run game is just working fantastic today as everything is working. And Bronson Hill on the stretch play, he gets around six yards. Another nice gain for him. It's going to bring up second down. Third and short as they are past midfield. As Ben's under center, hands it off to Joe Fleming, the big boy. And he gets five yards in the carry. It's a first down for the Eagles. There we go. I just really love seeing this offense finally click. It seems that everything is working out as it was supposed to be working as Ben's on the option. He keeps it, and he's going to get a first down on the run. It's a gain of 11. Second and six as it's just the ground game is just taking up all this clock, and it's just awesome to see as Bronson Hill on the option. He gets the handoff and goes forward for 13 yards. First and ten for the Eagles as they are nearing the end zone again. As Benz on the option, hands off to Jawan Lewis, the third string back. That's going to be a nice game for Jawan, gain of six. Second and four as they come on another pistol look. Benz, he's back to pass. He's got time, and he's also got Tyrese Russell in the end zone. That's going to be a six-yard touchdown in the second passing touchdown of the day for Tyler Benz. I really just can't see Ball State coming back from this. They are down way too many points now, and third quarter is almost over. Wedding. Back to pass. He's got Zane Fakes, but he's not going to go anywhere. And like I said, they I think the only way they're going to come back is a miracle. It's going to take a lot as Wedding. Back to pass. And he's got a man open on the left side of the field. That's Connor Ryan. Gain of 15 yards. Nearing midfield now. First down as Wedding. Back to pass. And he's going over the middle of the field. He's got Kavon Mabin and Anthony Zappone. Hello. Anthony Zappone laid the wood on that hit. Brings up second down and short. Wedding. Back to pass. He's got Zane Fakes. Fakes is open. He gets 11 yards. Another first down. First down now for the Cardinals as the passing game has been working for them on this drive. As Wenning finds Connor Ryan and it is intercepted off of many tips. That did not touch the ground, I don't believe. I think, I think Anthony got his hand under that. Well, that was just an amazing play. As in the replay, it looks like he got his hand under that. And I, I have to look at this again. As looking at it, that just looks... That is a great play. Great awareness of where the ball was. Third down and nine for the Eagles. A minute left to go in the first quarter, so I'm not I'm not worried at all. I think they've got this locked up. Bent back to pass. He's sacked. That's a loss of eight. It's going to be Ball State ball once again. We're nearly into the fourth quarter. 20 seconds to go in the third winning. Back to pass. He's got Zane Fakes. And Fakes makes a move, and he gets taken down by Pudge Cotton. The Eagles are trying to get into the playoff before the third quarter ends, and they're going to get it. As the last play of the third quarter, he finds Zane Fakes. And Fakes, he's bouncing off of tacklers, and he gets the first down. Well, it's the start of the first quarter, and Eastern is still up with their commanding lead of 24 points. And they're sending up the screen to Jawan Edwards. Edwards up past the 50, the 40, and Pudge Cotton takes him down. That's a gain of 26, though. And the Cardinals are on the 30-yard line. They are driving but like I said before, I'm not worried at all as Willie Sneed drops another pass. That would have been a first down. Second down and 10. Ball State still on the 30 as Wenning. He's back to pass. Send up another screen for Jawan Edwards as McFarland takes him down again. He read that screen perfectly. Third down after that failed screenplay. As seven minutes, 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. As Willie Sneed finally catches a pass and he falls down after a gain of 21 yards. Second and goal. Let's see what Ball State can do here. As Keith Wenning keeps it on the option and he's got the touchdown. It's an eight yard run. It's his second touchdown of the day. And they're out here to get two points, get as many points as they can. 
And Wedding. He's back to pass, and he's got his receiver in the end zone. But now that Eastern has the ball, this is going to be another run the clock out, draining drive. If they can get one going, is Bronson Hill. He's got the carry going up the middle and untouched after 14 yards. He finally gets taken down. Second and seven as they come out, another pistol formation. And it's been working for them great today, so why stop? As Bronson Hill, he gets the handoff on the option, and he gets five yards. That's going to bring up third down and short. Third and short, and if they can get a first down here, that would be greatly appreciated. As Bronson Hill on the dive, he's met at the line of scrimmage, but he tumbles forward for a gain of four. Well, the Eagles have found themselves another third down, but if they don't get this, I, I don't have a problem with it. They are doing great so far. And Javante Green, he plows over the defender, but he's going to go nowhere. And they're going to have to punt the ball away to Ball State. And here comes the punt as they let the playcock drain. And it's going to be a short one. And Connor Ryan waves the fair catch, and he fumbles it. And Eastern Michigan pounces on top of the ball. Eastern Michigan ball again with four minutes to go. Connor Ryan made a huge mistake by fumbling that as Bronson Hill. He gets the carry, and he goes forward, and he gets around five yards. It's going to bring up second down and five. Eastern comes out in another pistol formation. Two tight ends to the right. As Tyler Benz hands out to Bronson Hill on the stretch, and Bronson... He gets taken down, but he gets the first down. We have another first down for the Eagles. Eastern Michigan, they come out in a pistol look as Bronson Hill is the lone halfback as Tyler Benz hands it off to him. Bronson, he gets five yards before getting caught up from behind, and it adds on to his impressive day. Even if Eastern Michigan doesn't walk away from this drive with any points, I, I don't think it would matter because the defense is just going to hold them. As Benz on the option, he makes the right read and gets 12 yards going up the middle. It's another great run for Tyler. Second and goal. Another pistol look with three receivers to the right. Bronson Hill, he gets the ball. He's going up. He gets taken down at the one-yard line. And the offense is back out on fourth down. And I don't disagree with this. I think they're just trying to get Bronson into the end zone for all the work he's done today. And he's not going to get it. I can't really argue with that call. First down for Ball State. And Wenning back to pass. Looking deep in the right side of the field. And his receiver drops the ball. And bring up second down. Second and 10 from the one yard line. Shotgun formation for Wenning. Wenning setting up the screen and he steps out of bounds. Wow, that was a terrible play by the senior quarterback. Just a few more first downs and this game is over. Easton's going to take this game 33 to 15 if they can get this few first downs that they're going to need. And another five yards for Bronson. Bring up second down. 50 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. As Javante Green, he gets the first down. And Eastern Michigan is going to walk out of here with a win today. That's a great, great win. Today marks a very important day in Coach John Schaefer's collegiate record. And whatever you want to call it, it is his first collegiate victory. And against a very talented Ball State team nonetheless. This is a very impressive win. Especially for the team itself who started off 0-3, now 1-3. 1-0 in the MAC, and they beat Ball State handedly. It, there was no, there was no contest. Maybe in the first quarter, but after that, Eastern Michigan just snowballed their way down this mountain, and it eventually just turned into a giant, a giant snow boulder that couldn't be stopped. It was a great, great game to watch, and I just can't wait for next week. I, I hope everyone loved today's game. My name's Aaron Hayes. I'm signing out. I'll see you all tomorrow on the Eagles Nest on WEMU. But, you know what? I'll see you guys later. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all doing today? I am doing fantastic, especially after that win yesterday. We'll get to that soon. My name is Aaron Hayes, your host of the Eagles Nest here on WEMU, your source for everything Eastern Michigan related. Now, that win yesterday was amazing. It was a great win. Now, let's just go over why that was such a great win and what I loved about it. They dominated that team yesterday. Ball State did not stand a chance after that second quarter. Eastern was just, they were just steamrolling that team. It was awesome to watch. And John Schaefer finally got his first collegiate win. That was great. I feel awesome. I, I just have so much respect for him right now. He he came out an 0-3 start and didn't, he didn't falter. He just, he just worked and worked and worked and Everything paid off. That offense ran perfectly yesterday. Tyler Benz didn't even throw an interception. That's how awesome that was. He was 
16 for 19, threw 143 yards and two touchdowns. And Bronson Hill, uh, 32 attempts, 181 yards and no touchdowns. But you can't argue when your team wins by 18 points. If your team's winning by 18 points, you're doing something right in practice. And Ball State was predicted to just take this team down. And Eastern didn't want to go down. They didn't go down. Didn't go down at all. They put up a fight to the end. And Ball State just couldn't come back with anything. So now, Eastern Michigan, where do they go from here? You know, I predicted them to lose this game. I, I, I saw them winning only like three games this year. Maybe they go to a bowl game this year. I don't know. I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to jinx anything. Don't put that on me. Knock on wood. But hey, bowl games are possibilities right now. And if the offense keeps playing the way they are, it could easily happen. But, you know, we have a bye week next week. Um, and I don't really have much to say. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what? You know, send a uh, comment for me. Please, please. My name's Aaron Hayes, your host of the Eagles, and that's here on WMU, your source of everything Eastern Michigan related. And now I'll talk to you guys next week.